Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I have a 2017 planner. I do have a full start to finish on how this book came together, so for those of you who like to watch the process of it, I will play that here in just a moment. And I've used lots of beautiful products from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll be sure to link the product description down in the description box, along with over on my blog. And I'll also give you links to Wild Orchid Crafts. I hope you stop by and check out their amazing product. So, to get started for a flip through, I did use my cinch binding ring to bind it together and I used one and a quarter inch wires. For the front cover, I used a piece of paper from Jen Hadfield. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I used one sheet of that just for the front cover to tie it in. I This is one of my favorite papers from this paper collection. So I added that to my front. And for the planners, which I'll show you here in just a moment, they are by Karina Gardner. I printed them out. I will link them down in the description box where I got them. And it's an A5 planner size, but I chose to size it up. I made my planner five and three eighths by seven inches. On the front here, I use this gorgeous glitter paper from DCWV Glitter Stack, and I have just a little bit of it peeking out. I used a piece of pattern paper from Karina Gardner, just beautiful, so I'll be sure to link that as well. I use this gorgeous mixed corners by Wild Orchid Crafts. They have some beautiful resin embellishments to choose from, really great price too. Here I use some Guy Pure Lace, I use some flat back flower trim. I also use this white organza rose trimming in the small. I absolutely love these. And I use these white organza beehive blossom flowers. Look how pretty those are tucked in. I love the combination with like the mulberry flowers. I use some pink mist open roses, a wild rose. I tucked in some ivory open roses. I use some white hip rosebuds, some of the white leaves, and these little flowers here are so cute tucked in. These are in the pink mist as well. I have a little hip rosebud here. And then I have one of their doily, lacy doily cutouts. These are chipboard embellishments, and it was one piece, and I cut it in half, tucked part of it, the top part, over the um, organza trimming, and then the other part at the bottom so it shows through. And then I also use this fiber from Wild Orchid Crafts, just a little bit peeking out to give it some texture. And then my favorite are these little flowers with diamond centers. Here, you could probably see this one a little bit better. I love tucking those throughout. There's one up there as well. I added three of those. I love how this book came out. It's a real chunky book, real sturdy. and. In planner fashion style, I added a dashboard to the front. I used some gold foil paper with some silver glitter, sorry about the glare, some silver glitter vinyl. And it says, Make Every Moment Count 2017. Gorgeous font. And I won't go through this entire book because it is similar, but here is the um, planner print cut out or print and cut that I got from Karina Gardner and they come just like this with the tabs so I simply printed them out and had my silhouette cameo cut these out you it's very simple you just simply trace it you can print them out and cut them by hand as you can see it's a very simple cut gorgeous floral she has a, a travel um, the choice between a travel theme or the floral theme, and this is the floral theme. And then what comes with it are the days of the week, again in floral. Now these I printed out just like this, which you'll see in the start to finish, and then just cut them on my paper trimmer, cut them in half, and then I sandwiched them together. That I don't believe that I show on the start to finish is me um, attaching them together. I just used my ATG and glued them together. And for each month, I did three separate weeks. I didn't do four because it would have gotten way too bulky, and I just didn't think that I needed it because the person using this could put Monday the 14th, um, you know, Tuesday the 20th if they wanted. They could actually date it so it doesn't have to be three weeks in a row if they don't want it. Here's February. I'll flip through because 
Most of this is the same. I did add a few other things, which I'll show you. And then there's also on each month, one blank page for notes, photos, whatever you'd like to add to it. Here is March. I did another um, page here in it. I used some clear acrylic cardstock by Heartfell Creations. So it's a very thick cardstock. It's um, not like transparency, it's very thick. And this one says, follow your dreams. Again, a beautiful cameo cut. Here is April, I love April. I love all of them actually. I added a coin envelope into the center of the book. On the back, I added some more of Karina Gardner's Just Because paper to it. It does not come with the planner papers, but you can get it separate and it, it coordinates perfectly. This is May. Skip to June. Gorgeous floral pattern. And then before July, I have another one. This is Making Memory Striped Acrylic Paper. And I added the, again, I apologize for the glare. I added the silver glitter. It says, choose happy every day. Little hard to see. Hopefully, I added some detailed photos at the end, so hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Here's July. Skip to August. September. For October, I have another clear acrylic cardstock. Be your own kind of beautiful. October is the black and white stripe, which I love. And then here I just have another piece of that same glitter paper that I used on the front that's peeking out. I use that in here. This would be perfect for a couple two by two photos. Here's November and December. And then here's the back of the book against more of that gorgeous paper. So please stay tuned for the start to finish. It's a quick process of how this came together. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and please stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. Check out all their gorgeous products that make any project amazing. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Please give me a thumbs up.